Now, I felt very landlocked when we started here because there's just not a lot you can do from inside this world. What holy war are you in? Anatolia. So we will go for this there. How about that? Let's raise our significant armies and everything kind of springs up where our daughter rules. <laughs> All right, let's speed this along. Get our troops together. Our daughter basically is Byzantium at this point. We don't really have much of a say in here. Ah, you know what? We lead. I don't really need to die anymore, but we lead. Any other troops I didn't see? Looks like it. So let us crush their armies, help our child with her holy war there. Let's be stressed. More chances of dying. Crash the gate. Our friend joined the war with probably nothing, but... Oh well. Crush it. Oh no, didn't crush it. They crushed us. Now attempt to crush them. No. No, we, no not the new air. Or is that fine that we have a new air? No, it's not fine that we have a new heir. Why? No, what happened? Who are you? Why are you our heir? What is it? Oh no, she got a boy! We need to get another boy. She's pregnant. She might she might get another boy. Oh, thank goodness. She got another boy. Here. About the divine. Probably should. Probably cool. The divine. Sounds cool. Okay, no one has joined you yet, so that's neat. Please, nobody join him. We can win this. Aha! There you go. Let's create this duchy. And let us... Brand this duchy. And everything that belongs to it. <laughs> All the grand tournament. Ah, oh, thanks. We've circled this a little bit. Oh, 
France, that's Jerusalem, that's a duchy. Interesting stuff. Can't decide his education. Maybe we can decide someone good for him. French girl. No. Um, okay, what we need to do is we need to kill this kid. That is what we need to do. Real quick. We need to kill that infant. We might become a kinslayer and everything, but that's okay. But he is a threat to our succession. Fabulous, yes. I love that a plan to kill a child can be considered to be fabulous. He has made a clean escape with no suspects at one year old. Oh god. That's fantastic. You try and bribe some people, but... Oh yeah, throwing arm. That's good. Duchy of Anatolia. Totally gonna create that. And you know who gets it? Our daughter. He keeps moving around her stuff. Enjoy! Your new duchy. Alright. Another fabulous plan to kill the boy. Oh no, 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 not, not, not the court. No, I don't want the court jester. Unless you hate us anyway. Be our court jester, dude. All these titles here is crazy. Ah, I don't care. Oh no. He died. Okay, we need to make very sure there is no other male successor in this line anywhere. So who are you fighting? Oh yes, we go running. And people are really impressed with us for going running. Chancellor? Sure. Bazelius to remember. Okay, we don't want to be forgotten entirely. Um, proving our realm's reputation. It will become a paragon of virtue. Surely. I don't think getting a bloodline after you have all the children actually matters anymore. I don't think they get it retroactively. So if they're already born before you have a bloodline, they shouldn't be affected by it. But I could be wrong. I don't have all that many bloodlines and I don't really play with them all that much. I think they're fun. But I wish they were less restrictive. Matrilineal, please. 
for our girls. Only matrilineal works. Go with a genius there. And you become proud. Well, you should. Oh, yeah. Our dynasty's emblem will shine above all others. Prestige is easier to attain than all the other ones. How about we go and get ourselves a smith for some jewels, befitting our status. While we are actually still emperor. <laughs> Uh, yes, indisputable might of our house. Let's spend all our money on it. Why would I negotiate with him? I don't negotiate with terrorists. Ah, very good. The Crown of Majesty, the Emerald Scepter, and the Sword of Heroes are all added to our treasury. Lovely. Look at that. The Imperial Diadem. Can I give that away? Dear daughter, I give you, no, I can't give her the Imperial Diadem, but I can give her the Crown of Majesty already. Problem, have it, wear it, use it. I don't care, let's leave the society again. Now we can't lose prestige. Oh no no. Okay, large proud history. Yet I am sure looking through the realm's records, I will be able to find even more prestigious ancestors to adorn my family tree. We could hire an entire group of scholars. Let's ask our immediate relatives about it. Cost us some prestige here, but that's okay. Want an alliance? No. What a surprise. Seem to be at war. People are trying to kill our daughter. That is unacceptable. Let's go for late. Shall we? Let's undo some of the work having been done here. Uh, do that. Mess around a little bit. Right. So no more imperial stuff. How can we protect our daughter? On bots. Let's auto stop them all as well we can. Uh 
I don't, I don't care. I'll just click anything. I should get arbitrary. The way I'm ruling this ship here. Oh, the Seljuk Turks are uh, doing well, I see. How many troops you got? 27,000. Hey, you want to do a real cool war with us, maybe? Like a real cool war? Alania? Nah. Armenia? Hmm. Georgia? Whatever that is. Syria? Probably Great Conquest of Armenia would be the best. Really working our way down there. Do we want to? Care to? Other emperors can deal with that. Come on, let us forge a bloodline. Just need to survive that. And we switch to hunting focus, so we maybe get a dog. You have one friend who might want to give it us. care about this. Why are you telling me this? Good stuff, good stuff. Let's level up. letter died we can take on a new apprentice let's take our dear daughter Anna she is doing us proud and we become uncouth Find us a court physician. Why not? Take anyone, really. Yeah, cool. Let's make him a court physician. Have a gift and convert, man. No? Fine. Would they accept only external wars? I don't think they're even allowed to decide on it. That would make life easier for us going forward. Look at all what she controls. Amazing. I'm just waiting for the bloodline stuff. Blue and greens. We will support the greens, potentially winning the race. And yes, we have picked the winner. Lovely.
Um, we're still searching. For stuff? I wouldn't know. We could switch our capital over here and give this ancestral county to her again. But we might as well just upgrade her stuff. With our money. I mean, why not? Build her another castle down there. Thessaloniki is nice this time of year here. Rebels? Oh, there. You know what your issue is? You don't understand that. I can summon a fully fledged army out of thin air right next to you. That's what you don't understand, you little rebel, you silly boy. Silly crazy boy. That's a crushed revolt. Hey, you want to be a vassal? No? Like it. Every rebellion at your hands. How strong are you? 16,000. How strong are you? Not so strong. You go make peace with Greece, boy. How oh, dare you revolt against my child. Let's gather ingredients. Sweet. Uh, find herbs in the hills. More herbs in the hills. All right. Okay. Um. Bum, 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 bum. What was I about to do? Cool, we got some ingredients. Whole bunch. Let's brew ourselves a potion to potentially get rid of stress. And we have loosed the trade stressed. Lovely. Will we be able to switch this again? Doesn't really say. Oh, right. We can't change it because we're not imperial. Ah. Shot myself a little bit in the foot there. So you have what? This? And you're fighting this guy who has what? War. 
You make peace with Greece, man. Okay. I pay 85 gold. Done and done. I will not have my succession. My... All the things I built up thing be ruined. Ah. Researching prestigious ancestors has helped me considerably to polish the reputation of my family. Yet, this is not enough for our name to be remembered. We must endeavor to maintain a higher standard of behavior and class even today despite our large number. So we will... Yeah. Familial dedication. For another five years. Let's do it. Just have to survive five years. Watch us die. Before it's done. Find the white stag. Uh, let's speed along a little bit more. Saddle our horse. Go hunt. An epic hunt it shall be. And we find a guy. Nah, we, we hunt alone. You don't come. Someone died. Pray for him. People are trying to kill us, which is unsurprising. There is another rebellion. Also kinda unsurprising. Roots of his legends, thanks to the restless efforts of Basilius Antullius, the Angelus dynasty has risen to fame amongst the peers of paragons, the nobility and class. Basilius Anatolius himself has become a symbol of parental responsibility and familial duty. A sophisticated man who has devoted his entire life to uphold the honor and virtue of his family's good name. He has become an example for all esteemed aristocrats to follow. Family over all. So we get this uh, bloodline stuff we will be known as the grand patriarch and thus our bloodline is formed we fulfilled our ambition keep burning apostates okay let's move our troops here we're no longer diligent uh, yeah Thank you for the hunting dog. He will be called Faithful. Where are you going, man? Stop running away. He did. Alright, let's check. So we have this now. Question is... Very good. They have it now as well. Do you have it now as well? That's really cool. You can influence... Younger close relatives. Can we? Well, we can invite her stargazing. Dynastic meddling. Age is less than 35. I want to dynastically meddle. Let us dynastically meddle. Help her improve her character for some piety. Okay, she should look better. Is she malnourished? No. Yeah, let's have a focus more on her responsibilities and less on her looks. Sharp mind trumps a pretty face. 
Okay, that's that's neat. That's a pretty neat thing. Cool, we forged the bloodline. I've not done it like that before. Let's see our realm prosper, so we just need to not go to war, which I think I'm really good at. Not going to war. It's one of my favorite things. Alright. Um, is our... Yeah, it's done. So you get... Barony. And I hope you keep it. And don't create a little silly vassal out of it. And spend some more money here to improve our own future as well. Get someone who likes us. Marginal status for women. Let's do it. Could change it to agnatic succession. Which I think kicks out all women. Isn't ideal. Our girl will not get this job, but that's okay. Doesn't need it. She is the de facto ruler of the Byzantine Empire. Topping from the bottom is what it's called. And yeah, that was pretty neat. So now we just need to survive a few generations there. And get this up to 15,000. We actually are going to jump over silver upon our death now. Let's see. Maybe we even get it with uh, this one ruler. What else can we do to improve our stuff? Our solve and everything. Get ourselves a weapon. I don't think we have one. And we could probably get a better armor as well. Composing a book is not going to work out anymore. Not at the end here. So we'll see how far we can actually get with our dear Bezelius. We'll see.